Hey everybody, how's it going? So thanks for coming along to episode number two of this Planet Zoo series. And we're building a zoo that's not a zoo. It's going to have animals, but it hasn't got animals yet. And when it gets animals, it's not going to be animals as a zoo. It's, it's Tinyani Gardens. <laughs> Welcome to Tinyani Gardens. In episode one, this is what we're doing. It's very much based on Trenton Gardens in Stoke-on-Trent. We're building a shopping village at the moment. Uh, this is what you missed. If you if you need to go back and see episode one, then it's all uh, it's all in there. But this is what we're working on today. So I'm going to be tearing the roofs off all of these shops uh, and we are going to be doing the ticket office. So let's get started. All right then you guys. So we're going to jump straight into this one and I've just spent the last couple of hours kitting out some of the shops and the restaurants. So I've got plenty to show you. I still got some to do, uh, but I just wanted to show you where we're at at the moment. And just before we go into that tour, I just need to disclose that I'm using a lot of workshop items. I kind of figured when I do the Planet Coaster stuff that I use Theme Makers Toolkit and that's a load of creators that are filling the gap between what we can create ourselves and uh, what is available in game. And the same is true for the workshop. So I've kind of thought to myself, do you know what? If the item is on the workshop I'm going to treat it as if it was a theme makers talk it because I couldn't make it myself I will put a link to at least the workshop pages to everybody that I've used in the description so we can show some thanks to those guys but guys if you are watching this and you see your stuff thank you so much for these these items they are just absolutely incredible right so let's get straight into this uh, tour then some of the shops uh, have been named by our members over on the community channel uh, or community page so thank you to you guys uh, i will credit you as we're going along so this is the the first one there was a, an early request for the main restaurant to be called the main restaurant so here you go this is my promise to you this is the main restaurant <laughs> so i've kitted out you've already seen this on the outside right i've kitted out the outside with some seating and uh, and everything but when we come in inside oh it's like it's a completely different a completely different thing so guys just to let you know when i'm doing planet zoo um, i'm not going for the same perfection that i go for with planet coaster because we just don't have the pieces and everything available to be able to do it right so for this one i'm just going for good is good enough i don't have the finite pieces to create small intricate things that you would see in planet coaster so i'm just going for something that looks good and something that looks like it's plausible realism in planet zoo so this is why this is looking a bit bland and of course if it was planet coaster i'd have done something differently but we're not in planet coaster so get over it <laughs> It's me telling myself, get over it. This isn't Planet Coaster. So anyway, well, over here we've got, um, again, this is just these amazing sets that have been pulled together that just come together like this, right? Uh, so we've got a bit of an order counter that's coming along here, the main restaurant with all of its menu and everything. And because we need it to be slightly function functional in Planet Zoo, then of course you've got the actual shops, the, <laughs> the, the eyesore shops that are on here, thrown around some decoration al along the outside uh, just to give it that, that sort of feeling of... Uh, of a zoo and feeling of stuff right uh, so we then come across to java the hut and this is named by risen um and so this is basically a, a, a gift shop right oh that's a tree uh, so this is going to be a gift shop that's been put into place uh, and it's going to have an information hut that's tacked onto the left hand side right that's where you're going to be able to buy all of your gift packs and, and stuff so this is a massive gift shop um these items are genius. They use the enrichment items. The problem is the guests walk through them and they leave them strewn all over the floor. So <laughs> it's like you see them kick them like this one here. It's going to be a mess because this is empty and this would have been full. So I don't even know where the stuff's going to be. <laughs> um, but well, inside here, I've kitted it out with a load of shelves. And of course, I, I need to do a touching up pass, right? So I need to do a, a, a bit of a let's go through and make sure that everything is as, as I want it. I, it's like... Uh, skirting boards and stuff that are missing in here and whatever. Um, oh, there, there's all the stuff. Look, <laughs> just strewn everywhere. <laughs> Love it. Uh, so, yeah, I've come along here, put all of the gift shop uh, shelves and stuff in here, put some stuff on the walls. And I've also put some education boards in here because that's obviously what's uh, what's needed. And then we come to the hub. Um, this is where you're going to be able to find all of your maps and your information uh, for everything that you're going to need. And again, I've just put some education boards in the windows. Uh, and then when we come inside the actual shop itself, uh, we do have two information shops that serve a purpose. And then I'm just going to put some more stuff in here. Like I say, I need to do a, a touch up. But of course, they would be selling trinkets and whatever uh, along here. So, you know, like t-shirts and 
mugs and stuff like that that you that you would find so that's just what i'm going for uh, in there then we're going to come up to uh, this one is not done yet so we're going to come to the shock shack so this is just a a gulpy energy store restaurant is just supposed to be a place where you can just come and grab a, a snack on your way on your way through i like how this has turned out actually it's like the, the the colors i've chosen fit in really nicely with the australian wood that i'm using it's like yes this is this is looking good this is looking really really good and then inside i've gone for something slightly more modern um so i'm going for like a, a tarmac a, a tarmac uh floor with this white wall and then the the wooden beam across the across the side so just something a little bit different in terms of decor um and then over here we've just got a kitchen pass with the shelves and everything that have got all of the stock on it so exposed kitchen and then i just put some stuff along here as a, a as a counter and then paw prints on the floor just so that people know where they're supposed to go to place an order because this isn't the most intuitive of uh, layouts for a for an actual unit so uh, yeah i like this and then i decided to keep whoops that's the wrong camera angle uh, i decided to keep the ceiling as it is with the the exposed shingle tiles as well because i think it just looks quite good so uh, that's how i have left that and then of course i've put in um these extractor fans as well in the, the the side and i've actually done that by the way over on the restaurant too so you can see that the extractor fans uh, are on the back here uh, so these two i think i'm going to leave intentionally empty i don't think i'm going to do anything with those just yet because i need to know what's going to come of the back side here uh, i'm going to do something with that one uh, right so this one cosmic cow so this is this is one that i'm sort of like do you know what this is just it is what it is i can't really make it a, a decent space that's not really a good view of that is it <laughs> <laughs> let me try that again <laughs> there you go so the cosmic cow um I i'm not really happy with this at all i've just thrown it together because i needed something functional in game for people to buy stuff from um i wish i could make proper counters and and all of that sort of stuff but we can't so it is what it is and inside um i've just put in some uh, black pink and blue because it's just your typical uh, different camera angle there you go uh, so it's just your typical ice cream parlor right it's nothing uh, nothing overly exciting in here but yeah it's functional at least it does what it needs to do i mean it's all right it looks all right it's just a bit cold um it doesn't feel like it has a personality uh, and then we come to off the hoof uh, and this one is named by uh, m and j games so thank you for the for the name on this one. Uh, shiny sign on the outside. I quite like how this has turned out on the inside. Again, it needs a little bit of touching up going on in on the inside. Uh, but here we go. So exactly the same principle as the other restaurant, actually, but it's just a slightly different design. It's a bit cleaner. Uh, so you've got the collection point here, which makes them functional in game. Uh, and then over here, you've got the open kitchen pass, and then you've just got like. Uh, your, your order points and you can grab ice cream or whatever from the from the fridges these of course will have some videos on it um, and i'm going to put the off the hoof uh, logos up here as well um and then just a seating area inside so i uh, you'll notice that on all of these buildings i'm keeping the australian wood exposed because i like that i like that it's a shed and the idea is that you would just strip the insides out and just throw something else uh, something else in when your tenant leaves right so uh, that's what we're going for here really nice and open really like nothing really too special going on he on in here it's just more about substance over uh, design over substance uh, so then we come across to uh, actually that one's not done i can't remember which ones i've done not done that one's not done that one's not done uh oh there we go so we don't have a name for this one yet uh, it will have a name but i haven't put it in yet and this is just a donut and a coffee shop uh, so from the outside this is uh, got a seating area we've got the uh, planter and everything that's in here and then we're going to come in here and we've got another open seating area. I've given this a bit more of an Australian theme. Um, and again, you wouldn't detail these out. You wouldn't kit these out with much detail because the tenants come and go. So they wouldn't spend a lot of money on their interiors. The, the idea of these shops would be to pile the stock as high as you possibly can and sell as much as you can rather than having a beautiful interior design. But I mean, it still looks good, right? It's, it's this exposed beam and it does what it needs to do. It seats inside here. And then, of course, it's made functional. Whoops. Uh, made functional um, by having the shops. I need to do something with these to make them a bit better, look a bit better uh, and to kit them out a little bit more. But that'll get done. It's fine. And then over on the other side, again, this is a gift shop that doesn't have a name yet. Uh, I think it will have a name. Oh, obviously, it's going to have a name. Um, <laughs> there's the guests just kicking the stuff everywhere. Cheers, guys. 
and staff do it. Oh, staff don't do it. Staff used to do it. It's fine. Anyway, so inside here, we've just got the, another gift shop. This is just a place that's full of all sorts of tat and all sorts of things. Um, again, it's just this idea of throwing as much as you can into a room to try and sell it as quickly as you can. Like I say, some touching up needing it needed in here, a bit of decoration needed in here, but it's, it's fine for now. It's fine to show you this is the idea of, of what I'm going for. Uh, in here so uh, yeah I like this and again I kept the uh, roof as it was I didn't des I decided not to cover it uh, inside the main restaurant by the way I did uh, that stayed the same uh, and then we've got chachos this is just a tat shop and um, some leaflets on the outside uh, maybe some clues as to what's what's coming in terms of the animals we're not going to have because we're not a zoo uh, <laughs> and then inside here it's just tat right it's just the stuff that's that's been pulled together and then a cash register uh, over on the other side and then i think this is the last one that i've kitted out this is wet nose novelties and this is part-time pc pilot uh, it's named this one and uh, similar principle to chachos it's just a, a gift shop place so you got but this is a bit more put together uh, it's a bit tidier because you know someone took the someone took the effort to actually name it <laughs> one of the members took the effort to name it so i should take the effort to decorate it right so this is all of the stuff that's on the outside and then you come into the shop itself and then you have all of your shit your t-shirts and <laughs> That sounded like I swore then. <laughs> I didn't. T-shirts. And uh, then you've got the uh, cash register that's over on the other side here. I just need to put some decoration and, and whatever, uh, like maybe up here, uh, just to just to get it out. But you can now see that the area is really starting to come to life. This is, if I come to this view here, this is what I meant uh in the previous episode when I said that it's going to come to life when it starts to be used as an area, when you start to see shop signs and things in windows and the seating areas outside and all of the swing signs and stuff. So yes, it's looking, it's looking good. I'm pleased with how this is going so far. My next port of call then is to finish the five uh, shops and then to start the actual ticket entrance. And then we're going to call it done for this, uh, for this episode. So let's go and see how that turns out. All right, then, you guys, it's time to get excited because our near verbatim ripoff of Trentham Gardens is coming along quite nicely. And it won't be any surprise to know that I've also copied the entrance area. <laughs> so that's the thing. So this is our uh, our entrance area. It's coming together really, really nicely. We've got ourselves uh, an entrance way. We've got a gift shop and you sort of have to go in a circular motion. And um, so you enter this way, come out this way. And then, of course, in the middle, you've got some kind of coffee house. Now, this is named by Risen. Uh, so this is uh, Melting Pot Coffee House. Uh, that's on the inside. I've done some work to some of the other shops as well, but I just need to do some touching up on those. Uh, so I'll show you those in the uh, last update. And of course, I need some touching up and everything going on in, in here as well. But this is essentially the entrance area. This is how it looks from the outside. Still sticking with the original themes. So still with that Australian word, still with the... Uh, idea of all of the information boards and everything on the outside, but I've actually put down some pathing just to set it aside from everything else, because obviously this is the, the focal point of the of the whole area. This is the reason you come to this whole area, so this has to have a little bit more attention paid to it. So yeah, that's what it looks like from the outside. I quite like how this sits on the sight line actually, um, especially in like the this light. So it, this is midday that I that I use uh, and in the sun, and it actually looks really really good. You have to give credit to the game. It looks good, even if it plays like trash. So <laughs> let's just be honest there. So this is the uh, this is the information point. Then this is the the ticket point. Um, and this is, as I said, it's almost a near verbatim rip off of, of how Trentham Gardens is. It's just bigger, grander, and tr more triangular. Trade of Gardens is, doesn't have such a high uh, ceiling, for example. It's a, a relatively flat ceiling and the pitch isn't so extreme. So there are some very subtle differences um, to make it our own, to make it us. But it's, yeah, let's be honest. <laughs> I may as well just ripped it off. <laughs> and so what I've done here, uh, and you'll notice this in all of the other shops, is all of these would be partition walls. They're not rooms. Uh, they're not, they don't kit them out. They don't make the walls hit the ceilings and stuff. They are just partition rooms. They would probably be either open or they would have some kind of flat roof on here. But And as I said before, it's so that they can strip them out and a new tenant can come in and do what they want with it, right? So you don't do much structural stuff inside a shed. But anyway... We've chosen the colours of purple and green and blue on this one uh, because that's that's like the Trentham Gardens colours, but in reverse, right? So when you walk into Trentham Gardens, the walls are green and white and then you get purple. So I just wanted to 
rip off some more stuff. <laughs> so we've got ourselves uh, the ticket booth. So these would be screens that are showing uh, images and videos from the gardens itself. So once we've done the outside, I'll start loading those custom images in. Um, and then this is where you'd purchase your tickets. And then just to make this functional, I've just put some information booth in so people can walk past and they can buy their packs, you know, the, the uh, welfare packs and uh, what they call the adoption packs and stuff. I've put some information boards around, some education boards to make this functional, and I've uh, pulled off these turnstiles from uh, the workshop. They are absolutely, these are just brilliant. These are perfect, for exactly what I wanted in this area. So these are just brilliant. Um, whoops, we're back outside. Good camera work. <laughs> and then this hall is, oh, that's even worse. Look at that. Try again. There we go. So <laughs> this hall is then split into two. You've got tickets down one side, or if you remember, you can come down the other side. Um, and then you you all eventually end up in the turnstiles anyway. Then in the middle, we have the restaurant, so melting pot. So for this one, I actually wanted it to be a little bit more... Um, uh, partitioned than Trenton Gardens is. I wanted it to be a bit more private. I did toy with the idea of putting ivy and stuff on here, but actually I quite like the zebra giraffe uh, partitions that we've got in game. So keep it as it is, right? And then you've just got the uh, the opaque glass here just to create a bit of a, a bit of a barrier. And then in here, uh, I need to do a bit more work in here. I think I want to put some kind of feature on this back wall here. Uh, if I just change the camera. Uh, some feature on the back wall here, but I don't know what, I don't know yet. This um, coffee area, the, the bits were taken from the workshop. Um, I will, again, I'll put all credits and stuff for all of the workshop items I put in the description. Um, but I've changed it around slightly, so I've used the items, but they are pretty much from that, from that pack. But because it looks good, right? Why change something that looks good? Just use it. Um, so, yeah, it's Theme Maker's Toolkit all over again. All of these would have been kitted out with Theme Maker's Toolkit items that I wouldn't have made. So, uh, it's whatever it is what it is. And then the inside of the coffee place, relatively simple. Um, I've just put down some more, some more of those square benches. Now, there is no patio for this one because, of course, you're going to go through turnstiles, right? So, this is just windows. And then you're going to have to look out on what will eventually be the gardens. Um, and then over this way... I've now put in a bridge, so uh, we're now crossing the river. So in the next episode, I'm going to actually put the lake in and finish the river and stuff so we know what that actually is going to look like. But there's the bridge that comes across here, and then you're either going to go left or right, down to down, follow the river. And then as you're coming out of the... Uh, of the, the estate if you like then you're going to be able to come around to the left hand side and you exit through the gift shop. So let's just... come on. Camera's really fussy. There we go. So we're in the gift shop. Uh, and again, this is just another one of those, another one of those sheds. It's just a place that's been kitted out with all sorts of, all sorts of tap for you to buy. So, <laughs> and again, more workshop stuff, like the stuff that's available on the workshop is awesome. So I've just used it, used it again in here. No, it kept it nice and simple. Bit of touching up that's needed in here, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good to go. And then of course, when you walk back out this way, you then uh, come out opposite Java. Java the Hut, so it's like the perfect, <laughs> the perfect positioning for uh, a, a gift shop in that in that region. So this is what it looks like from uh, the top. Then, as I said, I need to do some more touching up and everything uh, around this area. I don't really know how this is going to how this is going to work out yet. I've put in another unit here because I'd allowed all of this space for this. Uh, it didn't need it, so uh, it's fine. So I've put in another unit, and I've also just moved all of the. Um, uh, the, the exhibits and stuff down this way so it's now working as it was and I've added loads more I just needed some more guests in the place to find out whether the guest AI, AI and stuff was actually going to freak out constantly or how it was how it was all going to work so right and I'm going to do the final touches up and then I will show you around let's give that a go all right then you guys for the first time this series it's time for the done for now stamp to come out and I'm going to save for now and you'll see why in a moment but just look at how different this now looks that it's all started to be kitted out it's just starting to get this atmosphere and it's starting to get its personality and I love it yes 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 yes. Uh, so this is how it's looking from the top uh, and you can see that there's a few gaps and a few things uh, that I need to do but ultimately we're pretty much done in this area this is how I uh, how I want it to look so let's go for a tour. Um, we're going to start down here. Uh, this is one you've not seen yet. So this is Worthington Farm. This is an homage to my good friend Moomin Little Socks. Uh, you're probably watching. So hi mate. Uh, and this is just like 
where you'd where they would have brought all of the produce and everything. So we needed a farm shop, right? So this is what we're this is what we're doing now. Because of moving series and using as little to make as much as you can, I've kind of kept that principle here. So inside here, it's just some tables with some produce. Um, it's, so it's to pay to pay homage to the fact that moving can make a lot out of a little. So that's what we're doing here. Uh, inside here, uh, this one's not done by the way. Uh, and inside here, this is really really loosely done right so i'm not going to spend too much time in here but i am going to let you in on a secret so uh i <laughs> i'm filming this series over a week so even though you're watching this over subsequent weeks this series is going to be long done by the time we actually get to the end so i run out of inspiration that's why i've got four shops left to do um so this is a tomorrow problem for me uh, but for you guys it's probably not going to be finished for a number of weeks so anyway we're just going to move on right because <laughs> there are loads to see that is finished uh, so we've got this one here treetops remember treetops from the first update uh, a bit of touching up going on in here some stuff on the walls uh, making it feel a little bit more homely and a little bit more friendly and uh, uh, some llamas because <laughs> no zoo it's not a zoo but no zoo is complete without llamas right and then we come over to chachos i've just put some signs in the windows and uh, i've just tidied up the inside in here so there's a bit of decoration bit of kitting out and everything that's going on in here some stuff uh, on the windows here right so you can see there so yeah that's just a that's just a gift shop and we're going to come over to off the hoof so lots of touching up going on in here I've, I've done some tidying on the outside you probably can't even notice what i've done it's so subtle but it it does i promise you it makes it makes all the difference uh, and then inside here i've given uh, some trimming along the sides i've also done the bit along here i've as i said i was going to put the logo and everything in so i've done that uh, i haven't put any images and stuff in here i'm going to do that ready for the big tour for the grand tour because i want menus and stuff to go in here but i have put some wording and, and stuff along here uh, and i've also just tidied up again it's stuff that you don't really notice but i promise it does make a difference it's like tidying up all along here uh, and it's now looking a bit <laughs> it's less bland but still bland <laughs> so uh this one down here is empty uh, so in cosmic cow this has had quite a few changes i'm still not entirely happy with it i'll be honest but i'm happier now than i was in the first update right so i've just put some stuff on the outside just to make it look like a, an actual ice cream shop and on the inside here uh, just some branding a couple of queue rails so that you can queue it i just needed to fill the space it felt empty now it feels slightly less empty i've done some lighting so you can see here that i've done some lighting and I'll, I'll show you that at some point when i go in the darkness uh and then just the big sign in here just to break up this this wall space that i had it's looking all right now um i'm happier with it than i was originally so that's fine i'm happy to happy to move on from there uh, this one is Wet Nose Novelties. I've done nothing here um, inside. Uh, it's all exactly the same. What I've done on the outside, though, is I've just put some signs in the windows, a couple of swing signs around, uh, a couple of benches, and this vending machine as well. So it's just to clutter out some of the space. Um, the AI is having a is having a moment, so it's fine. Whatever. Uh, so we did treetops, didn't we? So in uh, Paws and Tails... I have done, again, it's more tidying up. It's more subtle stuff that you, you wouldn't necessarily notice. Uh, but I have put some pedestals in here. So it's now a little bit more, a little bit more cluttered out. Um, it's looking good now. Like, it's just a gift shop. It, it, it's what it is. I don't know if I'm going to put anything on the ceiling. Um, I haven't quite decided. It's probably a one for the touch-up episode. As I said, I've run out of inspiration. I've sort of got to the point now where I just want to get the garden done. Um, I, I'm bored with building buildings because it's so time-consuming and so laborious. Uh, so, over to the main restaurant. This is how it's now looking. Outside hasn't changed Uh at all inside more tweaks like real small minor tweaks just to, and when i say minor tweaks that you won't notice right let me just tell you what they are it's things like uh, tidying up the window ledges and where they were a little bit rough around the edges because the uh, advanced move in planet coaster is a bit finicky um and so you don't always get the per a perfect alignment so it's just me going along and tidying those sorts of stuff up again you wouldn't notice it if i hadn't if i didn't point them out but uh, this is all this is all looking awesome in here I just love it. I can't wait for this to to have actual guests in um, and to be proper busy. It's gonna be it's gonna be awesome. Uh, but yeah, so we've got this bit here. Uh, 
just looking so 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 good and then we come out to <laughs> the graveyard <laughs> of workshop items <laughs> that's your view <laughs> sod the garden <laughs> you're having a look at the workshop items um but this is the uh this is the, the balcony garden area that we're that we're doing at the moment so uh i think i need to do a bit of detailing on the outside here but i need to know what the garden looks like to know what the sight line of, of this area is going to be so we're going to come back out this way let me just get back in to a different camera so we've got a uh, hub this has had a lot of work done on the inside your usual touching up as i've said uh, but i've also put in trimming uh, some signage some sounds uh, a couple of video screens uh, it's now looking like it would actually be an information point an information area and then just a, a bit of artwork just to break up the walls because this is a bit of a cubby hole so you wouldn't really find much in this corner um so i've just put a bit of artwork in just to just to make it come to life a little bit and then we come to next door this is java the hut uh, some tidying up going on in here but ultimately still exactly the same you'll notice that i put the trimming along the the floor and the ceiling as well with the pink and i just wanted to splash a little bit more color into this so that's what i'm doing here just splashing some color but otherwise it's all ultimately still the same and it's still this exposed uh, this exposed wood and everything so uh, and then i just put some artwork on the back walls again it's just to make it feel a little bit more at home uh, feel a little bit more finished feel a little bit more complete uh, and then we come to something you've not seen. So I opened up, as you know, uh, to the members who have clicked the join button on the videos uh, to name some shops. And BMK Music said that they were rubbish at actually designing and naming things. So don't worry, buddy. I got you. This is your shop. <laughs> so inside here, it's another gift shop. Um, kept this one relatively low detail, but high enough detail for it to be a, a gift shop, right? So uh, these panels and, and the, the shelving and everything are just brilliant. And then the way that they line up along the back wall, just absolutely love it. So uh, this is this is just the gift shop. It's just a, a place to come for all sorts of all sorts of stuff. And it's just. I'm still in awe. Every time I look at the workshop content that's been put up there, I'm still in awe that people have been able to make stuff like this out of stuff like art shapes and, and little pieces and whatever. It's just brilliant. Like, it's the equivalent of Theme Maker's Toolkit. It really, really, really is. Um, and then over to Shock Shack. Tidying up on the outside. Done. Um, again, it's the windows and stuff that were that were annoying me. And then on the inside, it's pretty much as, it, as we left it, right? So this is like a... Just a nice little shack. It just does what it does what it does uh, i've added some music in here though that you can hear so there you go that's that's something <laughs> something that's new and then around the back here uh i've just added some more details some more plants and stuff uh, in this in this area we've still got our sculpture that people are getting stuck doing haven't done these two units i have an idea for this unit um i just need to play out the park because i don't know if the idea is going to go here or if it's going to go here haven't decided yet but it's either way so then we come to tignani gardens the actual entrance so let's just absorb this for a minute because i'm loving it it just looks so good um so we're going to walk in this way and the first thing you'll probably spot is uh i lie well i didn't lie but <laughs> i changed my mind so i have actually put the wall up to the roof along these two bits um it just, there was just, it didn't feel right. And it all started when I did that over here and I put the bamboo up on this bit of the wall here. Uh, so I actually decided, you know what, it probably would be put along here. And then I just put some of the abstract stuff in uh, just to make it less of a, uh, a bind. It just didn't look so boring. Uh, it's not just a stark, bland wall, right? So uh, thrown around the logo in a couple of places, thrown around some more leaflet holders and some more uh, education boards and everything just to, uh, just to bring it to life. And then we're going to come across this way. To the melting pot uh, cafe and again tidying up stuff i've put the strip lighting that was all a lot not strip lighting sorry the fairy lighting that was all underneath here this is now continued all along i've put some artwork up i've made it feel a little bit more homely uh, in this area so that's all now uh, looking awesome 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 uh, i'm just going to come this way and i'm going to cross the wall into the gift shops there we go so the gift shop itself some artwork just been put up on the wall along here 
And then uh, I've kept this one blank, uh, blank for a minute because I've got an idea for something that I want to put up there, but I just need to execute it and put it all together right. So, uh, but otherwise, this is the layout of the gift shop. It looks pretty cool as a as a gift shop. Pretty cluttered. Um, need to see what the guest AI is going to do. AI is going to do coming through here, right? Because it's going to get it's going to get a messy. Uh, and then the back here. So obviously we're exiting round to the left and it's not obvious that that's what you do. So I've put loads of exit signs, but people can't read. So they tend to not look past their noses. So what I've done is I've actually put it on the floor as well. So follow me and the little paw prints uh, just to take you out to the exit. So just in case you get, just in case you get lost. And then because we're ripping off uh, Trentham Gardens, it's just happening, right? This is just a thing that we now need to accept that this is just going to be my version of Trentham Gardens. <laughs> copied the <laughs> i've copied the bridge <laughs> so that's exactly what i've done um it's a it's it's supposed to be a cable stay bridge right so in trentham gardens this is actually on an angle and it's supported both sides blah 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 but this isn't actually supporting the bridge this is just for aesthetics in in this planet zoo version uh so this is fine as it is it, it's not load bearing um it's just it's just there so that's what we're doing just a couple of cables and then just some lamps and everything along here so what this now means is that the uh the lake will start sort of in this 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 kind of area and there'll be a path that comes around this way path that comes around this way so we'll we'll tackle that we'll tackle that next so guys that is how tignani gardens is looking from the top and as i said i've got four units that i still need to do and it's going to be a tomorrow problem uh, but ultimately the, the actual area is now done and it's looking so much more pulled together than it was before so guys thank you so much for getting to the end of the video uh thank you so much for skipping through because <laughs> I know you do it. Uh, so I'll see you uh, for the next episode. Until we speak again, please look after yourselves. Take care. Bye-bye.